Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your monthly reading. This reading is going to be for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2023, or whenever you so forth are called to this reading. No, that's good. It was meant for you. I hope all of you are doing very well. Please remember this is a generalized reading, so not all the messages may apply to you. Please take what does, leave what doesn't. Feel free to check your moon rising Venus for you or the person you may be interested in. Cross watchers, you are welcome. All right, Cancer, let's jump right into your reading and see what is going on. So we have the high priestess at the heart of the matter. So there is, um, a, you might have a strong intuition, a strong inclination towards something at this time, Cancer. There could be a lot of things that are unknown, you can't see. What is crossing this is the page of wands. So, uh, interesting energy right off the bat what i'm picking up what i'm feeling for you cancer here is this energy of you know following your intuition there's a spark there's a desire in you you may be starting new conversations and you're not sure which way this is going to go for others of you this could be a um an inspired idea project that you are birthing into life and wanting to take action on some of you may be communicating with a fire sign could be for some of you a younger fire sign but there is a sense of unknown and needing to follow your intuition to follow this light all right so in the root of the situation we're getting the three of pentacles which tells me cancer that you put a lot of effort a lot of energy into building something you've been really working on yourself trying to build some of you this could have been trying to build a relationship and you might have been carrying the burden alone here uh, let's let's kind of be honest there's not another individual in here um, but there's something that you have been building and building for yourself yeah recently um, most recent past we do have the two of swords and this is indicating a crossroads cancer so you could have you know been really building something really focusing on something working on yourself and really couldn't see the path ahead of you not knowing which you know direction to take really being at that crossroads you know the two of swords is about making a decision sometimes we don't have all the information that's needed and that's where we got to rely on our intuition in order to be able to uh, go in a new direction or make the right choice shall we say but there's a decision in front of you there are, there's a decision in front of you that still needs to be made here for some of you depending on where you are in this journey but there is like this there's a lot of fear around this decision there's a lot of unknown uncertainty a lot of just a lot of emotions coming up around it as well what is crowding this is yeah the hermit virgo energy coming in here uh, what you're wanting is to see to take the right path to understand what is happening and where this is going uh, you don't want to be left in the dark anymore but you are wise you have the wisdom and the inspiration within you to carry you forward the hermit is an experienced individual this is spiritual enlightenment this is spiritual guidance this is your inner guidance system that is coming in uh, to direct you where to go it's illuminating the things that are not true and not uh, maybe even meant for you things that are not as they appear you just you know got to tune in to that energy future energy moving in is the beautiful card of temperance sagittarian energy there um, this is a, this is about bringing balance to yourself and bringing balance to the situation. This is where fire and water meet, where the spark of emotions and desires meet, and there's a healing process taking place here. So in the future, I see this very deep healing and balance. You're really balancing yourself out. So you know what I'm seeing here is there is a, there is you know communication or a spark of creativity, a light that is being illuminated for you. And there's a lot of unknowns in this situation. You spend a lot of time building something on your own, working on your own, and you've got to come to a crossroads and all you're wanting to know uh, in this moment really is where you wanna go, where you wanna see this. And then you have this beautiful balance coming in where you're really balancing your energy out. There's this deep, deep healing. Let's see where you currently are, Knight of Cups. So I feel like for a lot of my cancers out there, this is a desire for someone to come in and sweep you off your feet to bring love to you. You are a loving energy. This very well could be you wanting to offer your cup, sweep somebody off their feet. But a lot of you, this is a desire to really um, take action in love, to be in love, to feel love, to give love, to really encompass all of that. Outside influences. Yeah, you've got a three of swords coming in. There's a lot of heartbreak and pain that you're carrying in cancer. Let's not try to ignore that. I do feel like there, you know, somebody that else may be heartbroken in the situation that's, you know, in your energy field. But for a lot of you, it's you. This is your heartbreak. This is your pain. 
This is your past that's fueling your future and fueling you through this. But you see this, you're healing this heartbreak here. You are definitely healing this betrayal, this, um, you know, just hard, hard, hard energy to carry. You're healing this here. There's balance that's coming to that. Hopes and fears, the gap, the queen of wands. Some of you might want to connect with significant fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But this, you know, your hope here is to really take control, go after your biggest you know, dreams and your wildest desires. This is you stepping into your, wanting to step into your power and encompass me, all of that of what you are, Cancer. A lot of you fear manipulation, fear not getting what you want, fear not stepping into your power and stepping into the light. All right, let's see what the possible outcome is. All right, so the King of Swords is coming in here. Very interesting energy some of you may have. A significant air sign moving towards you, a Leo, uh, a Leo, yeah. a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But overall, I feel like the King of Swords is really you. Uh, Cancer, masculine, feminine, doesn't matter. This is you stepping into the energy of the King of Swords, knowing uh, and doing what is right, making the fair choice, the right choice. This is taking your emotions out of this decision that you're going to make. This is about moving forward in the path that is right for everyone. Beautiful energy. Bottom of the deck is your beautiful. Look at this. This is you overcoming the challenges that have been blocking your path forward, the challenges within you. Uh, this is you persevering in the face of adversity. And then you have the beautiful Six of Cups. This is reclaiming your spontaneity, your joy, your innocence, your love. Love it. I see things balancing out for you and more deep healing and wishes being granted. Beautiful. Awesome. Let's see what additional messages are coming through for you at this time. We're going to pull some romance angels now. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light. Let's take a look at my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love and romance. What does Cancer need to know for September 2023? What does Cancer need to know for their highest vibration and highest good of the love of romance? What does my beautiful Cancers need to know? What does Cancer need to know for their highest vibe? When it comes to love and romance. Best messages, advice, and guidance for my beautiful Cancers, please. Cancers when it comes to love and romance. All right, Cancer, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. So really pay attention to that intuition. Follow that intuition. Let it lead you. That, if that hermit is here with the wisdom to guide you, to let you see your path forward, to really illuminate within you uh, what is really what you really need at this time. Uh, do the healing. Do the work. And we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is a not this is about living in the moment, Cancer. This is about staying present, not being worried about the past, right? This heartbreak, this pain uh, that you've been in, and it's not worrying about where the future is going to take you. It's about staying present in the moment and enjoying it fully, opening yourself up to uh, joy and happiness, and really being in a present state of mind. If you are in something new. Just take it one step, one day, one moment at a time. Don't, don't get caught up in the past or the future. What else can you tell Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, all right? Cancer, some of you have new love coming in. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings or will be stirring those romantic feelings, Cancer. So some of you have new love, new opportunities for love coming in to you. Uh, beautiful energy. And I'm very happy for my single cancers out there that are finally going to get that love that you so, uh, so needed. Some of you have a past relationship coming in here. You have known each other before. So this could be a friend, a missed opportunity, or even an ex for some of you returning to your energy. What else can you tell cancer about love and romance, please? For September 2023. <laughs> One card at a time, please, to try to get me a whole stack. Thank you. All right, we got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So somebody is coming in uh, that you're going to feel very uh, attracted to, very drawn to. It's going to be very powerful energy. You're going to have a lot of chemistry, um, a lot of good times with this 
with this person. Cancer, some of you are getting controlled to allow the situation to unfold naturally, release control. Take your hands off that wheel, allow universe spirit to guide this to where it needs to be. Uh, again, this is about staying present in the moment, not focusing on the past, not focusing on the future, just being present. Uh, you definitely have some stirring up some romantic feelings. Please stay optimistic about the situation. All right, let's get some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle and see what's coming in here as well. All right, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors of the Light, let's take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle. What messages does Cancer need to know for their highest vibration? Highest, the best messages, advice, and guidance. This is for Cancer person, the person that they have most on their mind, the person they're hoping they're to connect to, have previously connected to it, or will be connecting with in the near future, what does my beautiful Cancers need to know about their person, the person they have most on their mind. All right, so we have somebody who is afraid to contact you. Cancer, they're not sure on how you're going to react. What else do we have for my beautiful Cancers at this time? Okay, so you have someone that's coming in saying, I am becoming a better person. So they got somebody who is working on themselves to be a better person, Cancer, for you. You have someone coming in saying, I love you. I do very much love my Cancer. And why would my Cancer? All right, it was all my fault, but I blamed you. This is somebody taking responsibility. Um, maybe a little late, but taking responsibility for something, a falling out, breaking up between you and this other person. You and I were too young. So this could be, for some of you, somebody you knew in your past that maybe didn't work out because you guys were too young to really understand the connection or really be in a connection I'm hearing for some of you. And last but not least, we have somebody who hides behind material things. So instead of confronting their, their issues and communicating uh, properly, they hide behind things and they know they are messing everything up by doing that. All right, my beautiful Cancers, let's go ahead and pull the zodiac signs that are showing up most dominantly in your energy at this time, and then we will close out with a oracle card. All right, so we have Gemini popping through first. We have Scorpio coming through. Some of you may be connecting with a Gemini or a Scorpio. We have Aries popping in. We have Capricorn making its debut. We have Taurus now coming out to party. And Cancer, to close out your reading, some of you may be connecting with a fellow Cancer, but there is your energy. Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. All right, last but not least, Cancer, let's get your Oracle card to close out this reading. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light, let's take a look at my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2023, or whenever they do so. Find themselves called to this reading. What does Cancer need to know for their highest vibration and their highest good? That's the message of life guidance for my Cancers. All right, so Cancer, you have drawn the card leg up. And that comes with a little message here. And I'm going to cover the main, main message. I'm going to do a relationship message and the prosperity message. Uh, feel free to stick around for all three or just the one that you need to listen to. All right, so we have you've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this phrase of your journey. Help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept the aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and inter independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Relationship messages. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust. You will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind, though. Ask, and it is given. And your prosperity message. Now is the perfect time to seek advice from a mentor or business advisor. 
who has been where you want to go to help you get there too. If you do, you will receive very good counsel that will aid in your prosperity. It may also be the case that your endeavors have grown and you are in a position where you just can't do it all yourself anymore. Time to bring on those who can help give you a leg up. Trust that help is available and will indeed appear. Delegate authority to others so you can take steps towards the big dream. The perfect people will arrive at the perfect time. So as long as you step forward with just a mustard seed of faith. All right, my beautiful Cancers, thank you for tuning in to this reading. I hope it gave you clarity into your situation. Please be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment down below, simply to say hello or tell me how this reading resonated with you. Wishing you nothing but light, love, and prosperity on your journey forward. I hope to see you, Cancer, in your next reading. Namaste. Bye for now.